Okay, uh, so we have an S13K24DE. I'm doing a 248-232 cam swap, or people like to call it dual exhaust cam swap because you're using two exhaust cam shafts. So what I've done here is um, the, the exhaust cam shaft from the S13, which is a 248. I put it on the intake side, and... Uh, the exhaust camshaft uh, from an S14, which is a 232, it's on the exhaust cam uh, exhaust side. So it's a 248, 232. Now, I'm kind of making this video for myself, but then at the same time, I, I guess I'll post it if everything goes right. Uh, I haven't really seen this posted anywhere, so it might just help some people. So to time it correctly, if you're using an exhaust camshaft, then be mindful that um, green on the S14s is uh, is the exhaust, not the intake. It's opposite on the on the S13s. Uh, aside from that, um, oh, wait a minute, am I running out of memory? I'll make another one if anything. Uh, so yeah, pay attention to that because I didn't. I ended up putting the, the intake 232. Okay, I deleted some stuff from the phone to free up some memory. So, uh, back to what I was saying. I ended up putting the intake uh, 232 because I thought, you know, it was uh, uh, green and orange, just like the S13s, but it's the opposite, uh, you know. So, the way I realized that is uh, these timing marks would mark, uh, match up where I left them off at. I left them off at top dead center. So right around there, um, I marked them too. Right around there. And since, you know, this one is, I'll show you that in a little bit. So it was coming off to the four o'clock position, that little dot or the mark. Four o'clock position, so I knew there was something off because my cam lobe was pointing in the same direction I left it in. Uh, so yeah, I uh, figured that out. So I ended up throwing the the uh, God, I'm having a brain fart. The exhaust camshaft. So with the exhaust camshaft, you wouldn't really have to change anything. Uh, you can actually use the intake camshaft, but you would have to offset it by, you know, the the required amount of teeth or whatever. Um. So on this side, a lot of people. I mean, I really didn't find a picture of uh, of this posted. The way I did it is. So this is my mark right here, this link. This link here was the top dead center mark. So I moved it counterclockwise, three teeth. So that would be counterclockwise, one, two, and then three. So if you try to follow that right here, you see the timing mark right there. So that's three teeth counterclockwise. All right, and then the rest, I mean, uh, I did a lot of homework. So you see this paper laying around. I made my own diagram and whatnot, just to just to keep track of things. I don't want to mess it up. It's a very healthy motor, uh, and it's my first time doing it. So, aside from that, and all right, yeah. So the bottom here should be at the 5:30 position, since you really didn't move this around much. Right there is the mark. Where is it? Right here. So it's on the it's on the mark there. Where, where I put it so everything seems to be timed correctly so really if people wanted you know uh, these I guess like what positions I would say this would be at the stock position if you're using an exhaust camshaft which is obvious and this on the other hand since you're using an exhaust camshaft on the intake side it'll be around here if it's a, if you were uh, going four teeth counterclockwise which people do for higher end it would be around here that dot would be around here so yeah just count your count the amount of teeth you skip or not skip go counterclockwise which is what i did and hopefully i did it right and if everything goes well here uh I'll post this video for for people to look at but yeah so 248 232 can swap um pretty much the same thing you were following the s14 except the uh, you would already have a 232 index or side, so you, all you're changing is the, the intake. You wouldn't have to move things around. But yeah. Alright, well, let's see how this goes.
I haven't been this nervous lately, but let's see, it's my first time doing it, we'll see what happens. Oh, the, the, the other thing before I forget, um, yeah, I mean, I get you know, everybody will be nervous at some point doing this, so uh, it's a concern because you don't want bent valves if you time it wrong. Uh, I would suggest, you know, turning the motor like quite a few revolutions, like people have suggested online plenty of times. That's what I'm going to do just to make sure there's no obstruction or anything. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens.